Okay, so here in America, things have been pretty rough lately. Actually, it's been kind of terrible. Okay, it's been a damn nightmare. We actually had an armed coup. How do you come back from that? To find out, I sat down with three political scholars, all from Africa, where they've actually seen this kind of shit before. Problems of democracy, problems with dealing with election violence could actually happen anywhere. It could happen to everyone. And in the context of Africa, what has happened when violence follow elections, key leaders go into exile. But Nathan, Trump got kicked off of Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. The exile is happening. He can't even get on Etsy. You know how much of an asshole you got to be to be banned from crafts? It's sort of social exile, but I think that there should be substantive punishment. Crafts! That's right. Trump needs real punishment. And I know his supporters are saying, can't we just let it go? Trump's gone. He waved and got on the helicopter like Godzilla going back into the sea at the end of the movie. But it turns out that letting it go is exactly the wrong thing to do. We may think that January 6th may be kind of this critical juncture where the unfathomable has happened and therefore we will do things differently. And that usually doesn't happen. What happens is people will say, okay, it's time to heal and it's time to forget and move on. And therefore never holding people accountable and never deconstructing the institution that allows such violations to take place. That's, that's how you stop racism. You have a terrible moment and then at a sporting event, you have a moment of silence, and then a month later, you act like that shit never happened. That is very dangerous, particularly- We put black squares on our Instagrams. Unfortunately, these experts say if we're gonna avoid a coup pardu, well, America's gonna need a whole laundry list of constitutional amendments. You need a universal voters role, a elections management body. Building systems, that are for the people, by the people, working with the people. Take a look at you know, security institutions, taking a look at uh, the, the financing of politics. That's fine, but we gotta keep the electoral college, right? The electoral college exists in order to keep white southerners within the United States by empowering them so much uh, that they would be able to maintain a system of segregation and pseudo-slavery. No, no, the Electoral College, I'm gonna push back a little bit. The Electoral College was, actually the reason that the Electoral College was, it's got college in it though, so it sounds smart. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you up, respectfully. One analogy is rebuilding a house. Sometimes you have to gut the house. Gut the whole house? Maybe you can just get the Property Brothers to come in for a weekend. They knocked that out. You watch Property Brothers? You can try to paint the trim and you can change a countertop. Um, but ultimately, there needs to be a moment of reckoning. Damn. Sounds like this isn't the kind of thing two clones on HGTV can fix in an hour. It may be the worst fixer upper that we've ever seen. There must be something we're doing right. Right? Good thing of January 6th was the Georgia election result. And that is the result of decades of work and political mobilization and constituency building. And so if you replicate the work that created the Georgia result all over the United States, then, you know, there's possibly a good foundation to build from. That's the American dream. And the thing about the dream, though, is that you can't lie down and nap and expect it. You need to work for it. Yes, I get it. I got to work for the American dream. I see now how annoying it is for someone to tell you that. Wow. Which brings up one question. After all the bullshit that America has put African nations through, how good does it feel to look at the TV screen and tell America that they need to get their shit together? It feels amazing. What's that German word? Schadenfreude. Trump was referring to African countries as shithole countries. Now, tell me, who is the shithole country? Hold on, this is my country you're talking about now. Well, you see, democracy is hard, guys. Not just hard for us, it's hard for you too. Well, America, sounds like we got our work cut out for us. Sorry, I mean, you have your work cut out for you. Because I got a backup plan. How much to get one of them African citizenship passport joints? 
Is that what you got out of this conversation? <laughs> Who's single? Which one of y'all single? We can organize you an ancestral visa of some kind. Oh, bet. All right, then. I'm out. We ain't got to talk no more. Appreciate y'all. I'm going to just leave America. That's the easiest thing to do. That's what we should have done. Why didn't y'all just tell me that shit in the first place? Bitch, I'm gone. Should we tell him about our local dysfunctions as well? Well, I mean, he should just come home. Hang on, what? Y'all got what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Just, it's great. It's very sunny. Welcome. <laughs>